Alrighty guys, now this time I'm going to be doing Windows ME running on the IBM ThinkPad T21. So let's go ahead and fire it up. I done this earlier today because I had seen a lot of comments want Windows ME. As you see, it's booting up right now. I had to install a few updates so that Windows ME could run a pretty much stable. I I had to upgrade Internet Explorer 5.5 to Internet Explorer 6 with Service Pack 1. I replaced Windows Media Player 7 with Windows Media Player 9. And I installed the unofficial service pack for Windows ME, which is Windows ME Service Pack 2. That's I found it on this website. It even fixed the bugs in Windows Movie Maker, and that normally pops up. It's I don't know. But I could disable that going through MS config. Let me show you I'm running Windows ME on it. And I'm running it at 256 megabytes of RAM. So let's go ahead and play around with it. And I have it connected to the internet. See, I'm gonna go to my go to Firefox because that's what I use on every single computer I own. It's still the best browser and still in an award-winning browser. That's what I'm surprised that it's still still the no, most known award-winning browser. And hey, we got the internet. I installed Flash Player 9 and Java 5. Show you what it does when I go to YouTube. Well, I didn't put it in right. See? This comes up on YouTube. I'll show you what version of Firefox I'm running. I'm running the latest version that supports Windows ME and Windows 98. And when this comes up, I usually click no thanks. But it's able to handle Flash Player. Oops, we got a little error. Let me go ahead and close out of that Netgear. And here's Internet Explorer. Well, let me see if the home page is set. Yeah, if it's set to its right home page, I had it set. And let's see if we can launch Internet Explorer. Let's uncheck that always. It's probably not. It's probably that darn wireless card. You know, um, seems work to work pretty fine and um, let's go to view all options it's like how you do it in Windows XP here's tweak UI it's like a way you can adjust visual effects and all that other good stuff can even allow it to show the version of Windows on the desktop. And you still got the original good old themes. Let's say we'll choose the one I like to use all the time. No, not nature. I don't want to go to nature. So I use this one all the time. And there's kind of a funny flaw that it still keeps it multicolored in Windows ME, the uh, title bars. 
when you change the theme let's go ahead and fix that and that should fix that let's see if we're still connected to the internet yep it's still connected so far let me adjust the screen a little bit so it'll be easier put it a little farther back trying to keep up with the camera because I'm using my phone still let's see about the internet games let's try internet re reversey And hey, it looks like we're playing with somebody from Italy. That must be an illegal move. And look, the chat room works. And hey, we're playing with somebody that's English. And let's see, we'll try send a random message. Let's say we're gonna send a hello. <laughs> Wants to play another opponent. And this time we're playing is French. No. You can even turn off the chat or on. I don't know why I keep saying illegal move. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's enough fooling around with that. Yeah, we're gonna leave this game. Let's see what else Windows ME got in store with internet games. Surprised they're still playable through the internet. What about internet checkers? Let's see if that works. I'm a player. It looked like this person replied. And let's say we're gonna move over there. Let me adjust the screen. Let's send him something. Um, uh, we'll click right there. Let's say, let's tell him that we gotta go. See if he's gonna reply back. Well, that's enough of messing around with. I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down. Well, that was all for now, so I hope you enjoyed Windows and Me.
Later on tonight, I'm going to go and install Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. Then after that, then I'm just going back to Windows 2000. So, hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.